Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the Transforming Mystery Machine from the Imaginex Scooby-Doo line. As you can see here, we get the Mystery Machine, of course, with Fred and Scooby up top. There's also a missile launcher over here on the side, which is pretty neat. The packaging shows how it can transform. It says try me, but it doesn't really work all that well in the packaging. You can see that some things get in the way, but that's kind of the gist. <laughs> we'll be able to take a better look at that when we open up the packaging in a moment here. So taking a look at the back, it says, What's so mysterious about the mystery machine? One minute, it's a van on the way to the next exciting case. Then, zoinks, it transforms into the headquarters for Scooby-Doo gang to solve another mystery. Scooby can't seem to figure it out, but kids will have twice the fun with van and HQ in one. Now these figures are not included, they're from other sets that we've already reviewed. I will bring them in in a little bit so we can see them all together. And then on the bottom here you have the pictures of the other themes that Imaginex has available. Scooby-Doo, DC, uh, Power Rangers, Teen Titans, and then kind of the Treasure Hunters. So very cool. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get out of the packaging so we can take a closer look. All right, so this is everything you get here in the packaging. First, we'll take a look at Fred. I think they did a pretty good job with him. He's got his trademark uh, orange ascot. Head can move from side to side. Normal shoulder articulation. And then his wrist swivel. And then the bend at the waist. So it looks pretty cool. Then, of course, we have Scooby-Doo himself. I think he did a great job with Scooby. Nice detail. Really nailed it. His head can move from side to side. His arms could, or he has arms. His legs can move. <laughs> These legs can move as well, but not as much. And then the tail can kind of move a little bit as well. So really nice job with Scooby. I think the design is great. The paint and detailing all very nice. So you gotta love Scooby. It also comes with this gigantic missile launcher, <laughs> which flings out pretty far. It has this net piece, which I think is supposed to like wrap around the waist of a character. Or possibly I think it could even fit into their hands if you wanted to go that route. But I think it's mostly just supposed to go around the waist of a character to catch them in a net. So... And then you just load this back in here like this and press the red button to fire. There are a few places you can put this on the vehicle. Uh, when it's in the van mode, there is a large connection port here on the top. And you can just plug it in like that. And there'll be some other places once we open it up in a moment. But I want to take a quick look at the van itself. It has the classic mystery machine. Logo on the side, pretty plain on the back, again same logo on this side. I like how the wheels have the flowers, I think that <laughs> looks pretty cool. And then of course you have the flower on the front here, really nice coloring and everything on the front. And you can see inside, this is all completely open. This also can open, if you don't want to quite extend the whole playset you can open this and then you could put the launcher here as well so taking that off um, let's go ahead and get this open so I'll move the characters to the side actually we'll use Fred we'll pop Fred up top here in the Imagine X panel and then turn it Woohoo! and it extends and then you fold this down and this is the playset now the top is you know pretty much the same but you have these open on the side here so not too much going on here, but you can see there is some uh, molded in detail. It just says Scooby Snacks. So this is kind of like the pantry, I guess, over here. Not too much else going on, but they can come get some Scooby Snacks. Um, I like this section here in the middle because it has a little jail cell, a little Scooby-Doo jail cell, and then it has this computer here. So there are some various places you can see to peg in the characters. So you could have Fred here, let's just go ahead and peg him in, checking the computer, which is pretty cool. And then I'll just use the first character I have handy 
you can say they caught venom. <laughs> you just pop them in there in the little jail cell. I think that's pretty cool. So I like that a lot. Uh, obviously, there is the place in the front here to have the character drive. So we'll take Fred and put him in here. And then you can put his hands down on these two kind of joysticks, for lack of a better term, just to kind of secure his spot driving. But then, of course, there's places to peg in the other characters. So we'll bring in Daphne. And I'm probably missing the peg. There we go. And Velma. And Shaggy. So there's room for all the characters there. And then you can put Scooby down in here. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it should work. And then when you close this up, you want to make sure there's enough clearance. That's the only thing. Um, when you're putting the characters inside, and I guess I probably, I should move Daphne over to this foot. Let me reposition these very quickly. You want to make sure they're kind of in the center because those orange pieces are going to come down and you don't want anyone to get smashed. So <laughs> when you push this down, let me zoom out a bit here. When you push this down, making sure everything clears. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it can work. And then you can see all of the characters inside. I'm gonna get a little bit more light to shine in there. <laughs> so I think that's pretty cool. You can fit all the characters inside. Now you don't have to peg them all in. It's just, it's, it's kind of smart too, because like I said, you have to make sure these orange pieces aren't smashing anything. And then when you go ahead and turn this again, and it pops back out, and then you can see all the characters are inside. Now, if you really wanted, you could move Scooby and put some more characters down here, checking the computer and things like that. And of course, whoever's in the jail cell would still make clearance as well. So you just want to be careful with those orange pieces because they can knock characters off. But I think it's pretty cool. I definitely like the mystery machine. Uh-oh, Daphne's falling off. So I'll just move them out of the way for now. But you do have to get these characters in the uh, smaller sets. They do not come with the mystery machine. So I'm going to take these guys all out for now. But I think it's pretty cool. You just really have to make sure everything's situated. Even with Fred, like if you don't make sure his hands are down far enough, uh, this piece here can kind of rest on top of him. So you have to be careful. But I think it's kind of cool. I see, I definitely see what they were going for. I like the kind of little computer here, I guess, to look up clues or to track suspects. And I definitely like the little jail cell. Um, again, you have the launcher here, which I already showed you can put here. You can also plug it in here. There's a spot for it to be plugged into the front. So I guess technically those are the main three places here, the front, and then on top of the van. And technically you could drive it around like this because the wheels do still work. Actually, I'm wrong. Once you, uh, there is a second place here. Once the covering is no longer covering, you could put it up there as well. So I think that's pretty fun. I definitely like it. I think it looks great as the Mystery Machine. The little HQ version, I think, is not amazing, but I think it's pretty cool. I love the computer and the jail cell, which are kind of the main two features, but uh, I also love the fact that you can put all of the uh, Scooby Gang can fit inside. So it's a tight fit, but you can get it done. Close this all back up. So very cool. I love the Mystery Machine. Definitely a very iconic vehicle from animation history so i was very excited when they did this and the little hq aspect i think is definitely pretty fun so i'm going to put this back up here and bring scooby in 
So yeah, I believe this was twenty nine ninety nine at Toys R Us. Either either twenty five or thirty. I can't remember. I think it was thirty though. Um, right now the Scooby Doo line is still exclusive to Toys R Us, as far as I know. So if you're looking for this, definitely head out to Toys R Us to try to find it. And Toys R Us should have it at at least 30% off, 25%, 30% off by now. So definitely could get a good deal on this. And I definitely recommend picking it up. If you're going to, you know, get into the Scooby-Doo line, I would say this is probably the first thing you want to get. And then I would say if you just want to get all the characters, you'll have to buy uh, three other sets because unfortunately, all the other characters come in uh, sets individually. So you'd have a couple to get the whole Scooby gang. But if you're picking and choosing, I definitely think this should be your first stop. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd like to hear your opinions. Please like and share this video and please subscribe. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the transforming mystery machine from the Imaginex Scooby-Doo line. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.